Hello guys, this is Jamshed Khan and you are watching my YouTube channel. Uh, well, once again I'm in Budan and if you guys remember that uh, the previous video I made about Budan uh, was uh, in March and there was a time when the temperature here was very very low and it was damn cold. Uh, the video last, the, the previous video that I made about Budan, so at that time the temperature was uh, minus 21 degrees I guess and today um, it is uh, uh, 26th of May and the temperature right now is uh, 21 degrees in plus so last time all these all the lakes were frozen and now it's so pleasant so I thought it's a very lovely day it's sun shining and you know it's it, it's it's amazing so i thought let's make a vlog for you guys and show you this place in a different weather with the completely different looks so let's go and discover this place once again This vlog is actually about uh, uh, two different things. First of all, I thought uh, let me show you guys this uh, the, the, the place uh, when the snow is over and the weather is very pleasant and everything is neat and clean so you can see it here. And the next part of this uh, vlog is actually about, um, about sharing information regarding the month of Ramadan up here because the uh, the difference here in this part of the world uh, we actually have uh, very very long days in fact uh, at some point of time there is no night we have only daylight all the time um, in summer time so uh, because of that we have actually very long days in Ramadan and we uh, have to continue fasting for uh, uh, like more than 20 hours like this year uh, we have been fasting for 21 hours actually more than 21 hours uh, we started less than 20 hours the first Ramadan it was less than 20 but it has been increasing all the time and getting longer and longer and, and, and the last Ramadan uh, the last fasting day of Ramadan was actually more than 21 hours and it was not easy that was so hard uh, but at the end we made it and uh, yeah we have done it so that was the information I thought to share with you guys that uh, um, so fasting could be like this also uh, but at the other way around when uh, it's winter time here so then there is no light it's always dark for uh, for at least a couple of months or three months at least so we hardly see any sun light so that's the thing uh, that's the difference I thought to share with you guys and uh, yeah so let's go and discover this place a little more so I'm gonna try to show you the different sites and scenes here uh, it's been uh, well, all the lake up here it was frozen not only this but all over uh, everything was frozen and for uh, from December, December January February until March end of March in April it started getting melting and now you see everything is so so nice yep and then here we we used to come here actually and not only we but people used to come here and uh, do some grilling barbecues and all that stuff even people do it in winter time and people are f mostly they are fishing here and then come over here and make make a barbecue and stuff like that
so here you can see the uh, these are the memories uh, for Swedish army see the artillery guns here um, yeah. let's check it out what is written down here oh. well actually it's in Swedish language no information in English but uh, let me read it and explain to you guys mm -hmm. well actually according to the text here uh, this one uh, was actually ordered or bought by the Swedish army in uh, before the Second World War in 1940 and 41 but it wasn't delivered uh, perhaps the war came and uh, supply was disturbed so they actually got it uh, after the Second World War yes and over there actually over there that's the uh, the Swedish uh, defense uh, museum uh, I cannot go there right now because uh, we have to book a time I think but let me go and check first if I can go inside so I would love to share the information mm -hmm. you see all these military vehicles all of them are uh, they're very old they're not functioning now it's a part of their history and yeah most of them uh, are actually before the second world war sweden i think yeah sweden is the the country they haven't participated in any world war they haven't been involved in any war for, uh, for more than 200 years in between 200 to 300 years that they haven't been in any war yeah. Here the informations Opetider it's mean opening hours so Wednesday and Sunday 11 to 4 p.m. and then for uh, this mean for adults uh, 60 Swedish crown and for for the for the young underage uh, uh, people it's 40 Swedish crown for the families 140 Swedish crown and for and for kids for children uh, under seven years have no entry fees free for them and it's you see that for Schwarz museum it means uh, defense museum in Buden yeah we will definitely come here and some of the time because now it's already closed so no need for booking but uh, just you know on time uh, in uh, Wednesday and Sunday only from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. can see that uh, again love locks uh, I have made one I, I think I made one um, vlog uh, yes there was in Westeros about uh, love locks so you see here also it's it seems like it's just the beginning uh, but uh, yes people are having it because they they have this space now so they are utilizing it in a better way so come here See, somebody 
So, yeah, they just fall in love and lock their love here. And see, yep, that's another way. It's not a lock, but uh, still they, this place is like uh, dedicated to the couples. See what they, Charlie Shans. Love is good. And hey, what they say is like, Atha banner are bra. To have a friend is good. Yes. You are in van. You are a friend. That's also good. So it seems like it's not just about the people who are, you know, they, they are just like couples or fall in love. But friends also. So it's more like a friendship place. episode of the travel ranger and until that uh, wish you best of luck and see you guys with another vlogs with another episode of the travel ranger bye bye